Have you ever wondered how web designers get a subscription form to pop up with the click of a button? In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a link trigger to a ConvertKit modal form embedded in your Squarespace website, so that when you click the link, the form will pop up. If you don't have a ConvertKit account yet, I'm going to include a link below this video. ConvertKit is my absolute favorite email service provider because I find them to be really intuitive. They have great video tutorials that are easy to follow and an excellent customer support team. So I'll include that link below this video in YouTube and in the content of my actual blog post. So I'm actually in my ConvertKit account for my wedding. You're gonna go up to grow. You're gonna select landing pages and forms, select create new form modal. You can choose any modal that you like. I typically choose Poplar because with Poplar, you have heading text and body text. You'll have to edit your form and that's not something I'm going to cover in this video, but I will include a link to another YouTube video that I made showing you how to create an inline form, which is very similar to creating a modal. And I'll include that link below. And I'm not going to lie, I created that other video a long time ago before I had practice creating YouTube tutorials. So it's a bit long, but it does have all the information you need. Go into settings and select timing and change this to 9,999. Basically what that means is that someone's going to have to actually be on this page for 9,999 seconds before this actually pops. We don't want this to pop up. We want it to pop up when they click a button. Now what you'll want to do is create a note or a text file or a document, some place where you can copy and paste this trigger so that you can edit it over here and then copy it out of here and paste it into your Squarespace website. I'll show you. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in this note. Now what I'm going to do is copy everything from the HTTPS all the way to the quotation mark. I'm not copying this first quotation mark, but I am copying this last quotation mark. And now I'm going to paste it right here. Now I'm going to copy everything from data form kit toggle all the way through this number. And I'm not going to copy that last quotation mark. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to paste it. This is going to be my click through link. So now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to come over to my website and I'm going to put the link right on this button. And I'm not actually going to have this open up in a new window. You don't need to do that. Now I'm going to save this because I like to save a lot. Now I'm coming back over to my form and I'm going to select publish. And I'm going to copy this code. Now I'm back on my website and I need to add a code block. I'm going to edit the code block and I'm going to paste the code that I just copied. And I don't really think you need to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and hide it behind this image. And I'm going to hit save. And now I want to test it out. So I'm going to exit, open it back up, and let's see what happens when I click the button. That is cool. Let's see what it looks like on mobile. Let's test it out. Oh, that's not awesome. When I look at it on my actual phone, it doesn't look this bad. Most of our heads are actually showing. Just the very tippy top is cut off. So this is a good opportunity to show you that when you do come over here and make a correction, which I did, I edited this image and I just removed a little bit from the bottom. Which is easy to do. You just go into it and just move this around until you get it how you like it, okay? But now we have to save it, don't forget to save it, and then publish it again. So I'm gonna copy this again. I'm gonna come back over to the website and edit the code block, which I know is hiding behind this image. I'm gonna select everything by hitting Command-A or Control-A if you are on a PC, and then Command-V. Move this backward again and save. Let's try it now. Doesn't look any different, but I'm gonna look at it on my phone. And on my phone, it actually looks pretty okay. Pretty cool. I hope you guys found that helpful. And if you did, please give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. Maybe share this with someone who you think could use some help with this. But most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.